Hello gamers. Have you ever wondered why when using MSI Afterburner, this core voltage slider is always disabled? Even though the rest of these are enabled and you can change their values, this one is always disabled. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So the first thing we need to do is to click on the settings icon and under the general tab, you need to tick these two options, unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring and then click OK. This will prompt you to restart MSI Afterburner. Once restarted, you'll notice that, well, maybe you won't, but in many cases you'll notice that the core voltage slider is still disabled. Okay, so how do we get around that? Well, I'm going to close MSI Afterburner. I'm going to go to the folder where MSI Afterburner is installed, and to do that, you need to right click on the icon and go to open file location. And within this folder, you'll see a folder called profiles. And to go into that, and you'll see this really long file name here. Now this is where this is a file where you can actually change and enable that setting. So the first thing we need to do to this file is to change its security attributes. So let's right click, go to properties, go to security, and click edit click on users and make sure you have full control by ticking all of these boxes then click ok ok again now we can right click on the file and open in notepad and what we need to do is we need to set up a new settings category so I would do it after the startup category. I would put uh, uh, hit, hit enter at the end of this line, it's creating a new space. And here you can paste in or type in your new settings category. And that category needs to contain this line. Okay. Now save the file. Close it. Close that and reopen MSI Afterburner. And lo and behold, your core voltage slider is enabled. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.